So what did our lady say? Pray the rosary uh -huh. together every day. Yeah. I promise you a miracle in your family. Mm -hmm. Wow. I promise you. Mm -hmm. The only promise I've ever heard in my life of a miracle. Yeah. Praying the rosary is from the mother of God. Mm -hmm. So we start. Okay. I believe her. Mm -hmm. I believe the messages. Messages don't touch Nancy, they touch me. Mm -hmm. Go to Mass, mm -hmm. read the Bible, mm -hmm. fast Wednesday and Friday. Mm -hmm. Really difficult messages for me. I never fasted, I never <laughs> read the Bible. Nancy had to go buy a Bible. Okay. But the most important message our lady gives, you cannot start conversion without confession. You can't start. You haven't <laughs> done anything. You pray the rosary. That you have not done anything until you go to confession. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Okay, okay, I'll go to confession. Mm -hmm. I go into the confession. I don't know what to say. The priest asked me, when was your last confession? I said, I don't know. 30 years, 40 years, I don't know. Mm -hmm. And I don't know what happened. I poured everything on him. A lifetime of mortal sin. Married, divorced, adultery, affairs, and my kids baptized themselves Anglican and hear my children, this is God, and I married Nancy in a helicopter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Preachers going like this in confession. Uh -huh. Finally, I can't think of any more sin. Mm -hmm. And the priest said, in confession, I absolve you. I kissed him. I hugged him in the confession. I'm crying in the confession. I'm just crying. The tears are just running down my face. Greatest miracle in my life was confession. The biggest gift I was ever given. A priest is a miracle of God. Because oh. no one else can say that. Mm -hmm. Where do you think you're going to go? You think you're going to go to heaven? Mm -hmm. Shake your head. You're not going to get in there full of mortal sin. Mm -hmm. It's not possible. And everybody knows that. And the visionaries here have seen heaven and hell. Mm -hmm. Try that one. Mm -hmm. Well, so you change your life. Mm -hmm. you start living a life with God, mm -hmm. with the prayers, and the love and the marriage grows in a way you can't even imagine. You fall in love in a way you don't that you can't even imagine how a fantastic marriage can be. Uh -huh. When you pray together every day, pray together, pray together. Uh -huh. And Nancy and I are like this. Nancy's uh -huh. a big time Supreme Court lawyer. She's a big gun in Canada. You have a big problem, get Nancy. Uh -huh. Supreme Court. Uh -huh. Supreme Court lawyer. Uh -huh. That's a big gun. Mm -hmm. I have a big car business. Mm -hmm. My car business, I own two companies. I own a Honda dealership. I own a BMW dealership. I have five other dealerships and general manager. Mm -hmm. I got 28 salesmen. And we sell 50 cars a day. Mm -hmm. A day. Mm -hmm. I don't know any company in Europe that sells 50 cars a day. Mm -hmm. I don't know one. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe some big in Germany. Maybe some big, big companies. But... I thought we were okay. Mm -hmm. So I take my guys to the bar. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. That's not the answer. That is not the answer. In the bar every Saturday night cost me two divorces. And I'm Catholic. Married, adultery, divorced, married, adultery, divorced. That's how I live. I don't baptize my kids. My kids ask me, oh God, give them 20 bucks here. This is God. I tried to go to a Catholic school mm -hmm. when I was very young. If you don't pay, you can do nothing in the school. My father hasn't got any money. We don't have money for school. We don't have anything. So I quit school. I got a job washing cars. Never finished high school. Mm -hmm. And I'm a good car washer. I bought my first car for $200 and sold it for $800. And I thought I was a millionaire. And I bought another one. Oh. By the time I'm 40 years old, I have seven companies and selling 50 cars a day. Mm -hmm. This is exactly what happened. Honda came to me, BMW came to me, Toyota, Nissan, Mazda, Chrysler, Fiat. 
I'm general manager for one company. We have five, and I, I own a BMW company. I own a Honda company. That's a big deal. I own the property, I own the building, I own everything. I, it's all paid for. I worked very hard mm -hmm. my whole life. My whole life. When I met Nancy, I met an angel. And we got married in a helicopter. Not in the church. Helicopter. <laughs> I have a white suit on. I look like James Bond. Nancy's crying. We have to be married in church. So she goes to the bishop, gets permission for us to be married in the church, finds an annulment for my first marriage. The bishop said, your second marriage was never valid. It's outside the church. So we get married in the church. We get a certificate. I make all these promises, promises, promises. I don't keep one. I don't keep one. Not one. No, no. I married Nancy because she's crying. That's exactly what I did. So Nancy has a message book of Magigoria. And Nancy puts this message book in my hand. And Nancy said, Here, my pagan husband, pagan husband, you throw this away. <coughs> it's on your conscience. Okay, okay, okay. Give me the book. Give me the book. Give me the book. I'll read. Nancy, for you, I'll read one message. Mm -hmm. I look for the smallest message I can find. I call you to conversion for the last time. I start to cry. Nancy, these are true. Nancy, Nancy, these kids are telling the truth. Nancy, these are real. The only thing I believe in my life is a message of Medjugorje. I don't believe anything. Car dealers, we don't believe anything. <laughs> We've heard 10,000 stories 10,000 times. We believe nothing. True. Mm -hmm. Except that one message. So we start to pray. I go to confession. I saw my kids change. My angler today is a Catholic school teacher in Innsbruck. Oh, he's in, he's in, in, Aust in Austria. Yeah. Speaks perfect German. Speaks Russian, German, Italian, English. Uh -huh. I don't think he speaks French. Yeah. He's fantastic. He phoned me two days ago. Dad, I got 40 refugees in the monastery where he teaches. I said, just love them. They're great people. Mm -hmm. They're great people. So, you know, can, like this. Mm -hmm. can, can you tell also why your son became a Catholic? You told me. But yeah, he, he became Catholic. Why? why? He, he told you why, no? no? Yeah, he did. He said, Dad, I saw you with a rosary in your hand. Dad, I saw you pray. <gasps> Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I never said a word to him. Nothing. 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 Mm -hmm. He became Catholic, Catholic school teacher, married, he's got two beautiful kids. And of course, all the grandkids are cute. They look like me, you know, and of course. Mm -hmm. My second son's got two boys. Uh -huh. He's a fire chief in Canada, fire mm -hmm. chief, mm -hmm. not fireman. He's way up here in the fire department. Mm -hmm. And he wants his two boys to be lawyers like Nancy. And my daughter's the problem. <laughs> married, divorced, married, divorced, married, divorced. What are you doing? Daddy, what did you do? Try that. You know, what are you going to say? Didn't happen? Of course it did. <laughs> I never took my daughter inside a church in her whole life. I had never said a prayer with her from the day she was born. Here, here's your new car. Here, 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 here. destroyed her. All three guys she married, nobody said a prayer. Not one. Nobody ever went to church. Nobody did anything. Just divorce, divorce, divorce. So when I speak to the kids, I speak to lots of kids. I got 50 kids coming this weekend. And half of them are girls. More than half are girls. I said, if you go out with a guy on a Saturday night, what do you have to ask him before you go out? What do you have to say to the boy before you go out? <laughs> I don't know. You have to say, show me your rosary. Because if you don't have a rosary, walk away. Because you got no chance. You have no chance. Mm -hmm. I know what I'm talking about. I had two divorces. Never said a prayer. My daughter's got three divorces. Never said a prayer. Mm -hmm. How many more divorces do you want for never saying a prayer? Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. 
Then I said to Nancy, I want to go to Medjugorje. What? What are you going to do with your business? I said, sell it. No, you'd never sell a business. No, my God, you'd never. Business is fantastic. President of BMW said, please don't sell it. Please, please, you're a big dealer. Don't, don't. Honda, don't sell the business. Everybody came to me. No, 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 no. Mm -hmm. I sold it. And that's what built the castle. <laughs> that's exactly what built the castle. How did you get the idea to build that castle? I didn't. The kid came from Hungary and designed it. Oh, well. I had no idea of a castle. Mm -hmm. The kid showed up from nowhere. And we hadn't built anything here. This is flat land. They grew vegetables, potatoes here. And Nancy's measuring, and the guy says, hey, I'm an architect. You don't measure like that. You measure like this, like this. How do you know? I'm an architect. You're an architect. Hey, go design a dream. What's a dream? How do I know? What's in your head? What's a dream you've always had in your head? And he designed a castle. I had no idea of a castle. And Nancy loved it. Mm -hmm. The guy you just saw that come in here, Florian, came here with his wife, married in, in Romania, to pray to have a baby. They've been married for years, no baby, no baby, no baby. And his wife said, if we go to Magigoria, God will give us a baby. We have to pray. Mm -hmm. So they came here and he saw the design. He said, I could build it. He's a builder. I said, try. Try. You think you could build it? Try. Well, 24 years he's been here building the castle. He built it. I didn't build the castle. Mm -hmm. I had no idea of a castle. No idea in a million years we're ever going to build something like this. Mm -hmm. I had no idea it was so big. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> you have to promise me something. You have to promise me something. Mm -hmm. Never build a castle. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> But I've wanted to. <laughs> And did you know from the beginning that you wanted to have priests here and it will be like for, for you? Did you know from the beginning it should be for priests, for religious yeah, people? Yeah, the you, priests started to come. That's, okay. That was from the beginning, the idea from behind the it. Uh -huh. They started to come from Ukraine, from Spain, from Italy, from, from oh, all over the world. <laughs> In the COVID situation, which is the worst the world has ever had, uh, we had 42,000 visitors here. Wow. Many of them priests stay here. Mm -hmm. Without the COVID, we would have 65,000. Wow. No charge to anybody for anything. But as a rational German, I would ask, you, you provide that all by divine providence or out of your pocket? We pray. Or? pray. We pray. Nancy prays, the prayer, the prayer, the prayer, the prayer, the prayer all day. Yeah, it's all beautiful. Day. I heard it. Yeah. Uh -huh. I we don't, we don't, they don't all sleep here. Uh -huh. No, just we sleep maybe 150 priests at one time. Mm -hmm. For the youth festival, uh, the youth group is about 200. Mm -hmm. Because the kids bunk together, you know, and moms bunk with the little kids. No charge. The only house in Magigori that never charges. So you saw divine providence in your life, no? Yeah, God provides. God will provide for this bill somewhere, somehow. I strong believe I, I, I experienced that in life. Matthew has faith. Matthew has faith you can't shake. So that's how we live. And you say that so the center of the family is the wife is a lot of faith here, no? We had a bus yeah. back to Ukraine. Saturday night, no, Friday night, and Nancy took everything that was edible in this house and put it in the bus. Everything. I mean, you have no idea. Mm -hmm. Filled it. People that brought stuff for the Ukrainians, Ukrainians, Ukrainians. We filled the bus. You couldn't eat the food. Gone. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And the next day, one of the guys from the, one of the communities, oh, Nancy, we have too much eggs. Somebody gave us too many. Can you use some, can you use some bread? Oh, Nancy, somebody gave us some coffee. We... <laughs> 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 That's how we live. <laughs> <laughs>
the coffee, uh-huh. the bread. Uh-huh. You can see it right there. Uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, thank you, God. Amen. Amen. Uh-huh. God's the deliverer. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and that's how we live. Mm-hmm. That's how we live. And what would you tell people? You know, sometimes God doesn't deliver straight away. What does that mean? Never, never right away. Yeah. God's very slow. Uh-huh. <laughs> My prayer. God, you're very slow. <laughs> Could you just speed up a little? Uh-huh. God, here, 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 here. Are you listening? Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. But he will provide at the end, no? Always. Mm-hmm. Always. 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 And you may also experience in a way that you can never imagined it. No, never. No. Mm-hmm. Yes, same my experience. My life was buying and selling and buying and selling and buying. My whole life was a car business. Yeah? Yeah, I never, I never thought about Providence. Who's going to give you Providence? No, no, no. Never happened. Uh-huh. Never happened. Uh-huh. Never. And here, my life's completely different. Uh-huh. Yeah. What a story, Patrick. Yeah. And people are collecting money now for the refugees. Mm-hmm. Big money. <clears throat> and Matthew, we want to give you money for the refugees. I said, no, it's not allowed. The parish, mm-hmm. Father Marenko, has a, a, a bank account mm-hmm. only for the refugees. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's too big. I don't know who to give the money to. There's hundreds and hundreds of refugees. Mm-hmm. What am I going to do? Oh, you look good, you look... No, no, I can't do that. But Father Marenko has a special account. They can go to the parish, and he that's his job, looking after the money for the refugees. Wow. And in uh, Hungary, the bishop has a special fund where he's funding the money direct. I don't know how to, I don't know how, I don't know how to send the money to Ukraine. I have no idea. Mm-hmm. I don't even know what currency you send it. Mm-hmm. So I don't touch it. I can't. It's mm-hmm. too big. Mm-hmm. On Saturday, we had 200, more than 200 refugees here. Mm-hmm. What are you going to say? Oh, 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 no, it's not possible. It's not possible. You want to, but you don't know how. Mm-hmm. So the parish does that. Mm-hmm. So thank you, everybody, for being generous. And the parish does have a, a bank account direct to Ukraine. Mm-hmm. Wonderful. Franciscan somehow. I don't know how they did it. Mm-hmm. So I can't be responsible for that. Mm-hmm. I, I, I can't be the judge of who gets what. I can't do that. It's not my part. It's not possible. Mm-hmm. And what would you tell like the spectators of this YouTube channel? What is so special about Medjugorje? The Mother of God. Mm-hmm. Here every day. Mm-hmm. Our Lady appears every day. There's no question about that. Mm-hmm. I know the Maria the Visionary very well. Yeah. I know Vizca very well. I know Eden very well. For sure, she is real. For sure. For sure. Oh, how many people have been to Medjugorje, Patrick? Uh, 50 million. Who would be able to call 50 million people to one little place in the world if it wasn't for the Mother of God? No one could do that. It's not possible. Mm-hmm. If I told you I'm sending 50 million people to your parish, mm-hmm. what would you say? 50 million? I'd say you are crazy. Uh-huh. Why? Why? Yeah. No, no, you got no chance. Except if you had the Mother of God appearing every day. Mm-hmm. Amazing. They said, how do you know she's real? You don't see her. I know I don't see her. Mm-hmm. I don't see anything. I've never seen anything. I see deaf kids talk. Deaf kids, they're mute, they're dumb, singing the Ave Maria. Kids from Korea that are like this, go home, brand new. A lady who's blind from Germany. Okay, you're in the church now. She's born blind. You're in front of the statue of a lady, mass is going to start. And she's sitting there like this, and she starts to scream, I'm dead! I'm dead! You're, you're not dead! What, what's, the matter, what's the matter with you? You're not dead! Uh, oh, I thought I had to die to see. I can see everything. <laughs> and, today, and today she said, Today I can see my children. We're all crying. And so somebody, I don't know, weeks later, found out, took, did an exam, an eye specialist. He said she had new eyes as if she was 20 years old. 
Born blind. Born blind. Born blind. That's the, no eye. Mm -hmm. That's. No, if you don't believe in the mother of God now, <laughs> you've got a problem. <laughs> <laughs> you have a big problem. Not me. Mm -hmm. Cancer. Mm -hmm. Dying of cancer. You're going to die of cancer. Uh -huh. 50 pounds, loss of lungs and colon. You're going to die. But if you're going to die, go up on the mountain and pray. Go on the hill and pray to the mother of God. Okay, 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 okay. So I forgive my mother. She got divorced. And my father was this. And my boss was this. And I forgive, I forgive, I forgive, I forgive. You got a hundred forgives, right? Mm -hmm. And you felt this heat. That's different. So he phones his doctor in Boston. Listen, I'm sitting on this mountain. I'm praying. And I felt this heat. Come on, come on, Doug. No problem. This is my angel. Mm -hmm. And the doctor says, you're mental. There's no cure for metastasized lung cancer. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. There's no cure on earth for what you have. You have to remove all of this part of your body, all of this, and maybe you live six months. I feel different. Yeah, sure you do. Thursday is your operation. Goes back Wednesday. Goes to another doctor and says, you do. Just take a picture what's inside me. I got lung cancer, I got this, I'm gonna to have to operate, I'm gonna have nothing left inside. I don't see it on this picture. Show this to your doctor. So he takes the picture to his doctor. <laughs> Where'd you get this? Uh, next door. <laughs> the doctor. He said, this is rubbish. Three more pictures. I saw the last picture. The doctor wrote, the cancer disappeared. It's got eight kids. <laughs> Lives in Boston. This is what I see with my eyes. The big statue on the hill, you know the operation hill? Mm -hmm. Put there by a Buddhist. Mm -hmm. A Buddhist. Because it was his son that was healed from Korea. Mm -hmm. The mother that brought the boy that couldn't talk couldn't do anything. Uh, mm -hmm. Ave Maria. Brand new, 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 brand new. Like, you would never think there's anything wrong with him. So the boy came here after. He said, I didn't know I was sick. I didn't know what I had. I didn't know that I was, had all these problems. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. And the father went off the rails came here from Korea. The first words he said to his wife, today your God is my God. <laughs> you want to do something for the parish? What? I want to put a statue on that hill. So he goes to Italy, gets the statue or lady. Days, days, days. It's ways, tons. All the Chinookalo boys carrying and carrying and carrying the statue up on the hill. We made a place for it. You know? mm -hmm. oh, perfect. So the best picture in Medjugorje. The parish priest, the statue, and the Buddhist. <laughs> God has humor. <laughs> and today, he's not Buddhist. Today, he's Catholic. And yeah. almost half of Korea, where he lives, is Catholic. Wow because he has the before pictures of his son and the boy's brand new. Brand new, you would never know he was sick. You would never, 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 never. He's <laughs> completely normal. <laughs> like that. And that's how long a miracle takes. Bam. We had uh, Sylvia, mm -hmm. a girl from Italy, paralyzed from the waist down. Can't walk. <clears throat> What's wrong? I don't know, I can't walk. I've been paralyzed for years. And she wants to go up on the hill. And Elon's having an apparition at night. So the Chinookalo boys agree to carry her in a stretcher uh -huh. up to the hill. Mm -hmm. right? Puts her down. <sighs> Pray. Do what you want. Praying, praying. Has the apparition with Yvonne. And she's so happy. You want to go home? Yeah. Okay. Six guys. Six big guys. Three, 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 and she's a little person on a stretcher. Mm -hmm. Put her in the stretcher, and she falls out. Mm -hmm. 
You let go. I didn't let go. You let. No. She gets up and says, Stop. I never touched the ground. Hmm. You know what you mean? You never touched the ground. You're going to fall this far. I never touched the ground. I fell on something. It was like a cloud. It was so soft. And she said, She saw her feet move. So she walked home. Mm hmm. Just walked home. He said, Get in the stretcher. You can't walk. Keep the stretcher. I don't need it. I came here for lunch. <laughs> she, I said, What happened? She said, I saw my feet moving. She said, I have never remembered seeing my feet move, and I can walk. Mm -hmm. So I walked down the hill all by myself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sylvia, it's Ridley. Amazing. These are people I know. I've been mm. for 28 years. So what haven't I seen? Mm -hmm. The apostles saw what Jesus did. Mm -hmm. They saw with their eyes. I see with my eyes what the Lord of God does. Mm -hmm. I see exactly what she does. And then he says, I'm not God. Mm -hmm. I intercede for my son for you. I'm not God. Mm -hmm. Hi, Precious. Hi, Precious. Hi, honey. Hi, what a story. Yeah. You know, I thank you so much for that interview. Yeah, so it's this a, is my life. This is... What I have seen here is not yeah. possible to describe. Uh -huh. Not possible. This Korean kid, you can't even imagine. Mm -hmm. It is not possible to communicate. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Ave Maria. Maria. Ah. What? The heck? Ave Maria. Maria. And he was brand new in one second. Um. Trying to say a thousand words. Big miracle. Wow. You know how long a miracle takes? Like that. Bam. When God makes a decision. She fell out of a stretcher and got up and walked home. Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. <laughs> she didn't know. She didn't pray for a miracle. She didn't say, oh, God, heal me now. No. Mm -hmm. She just wanted to be with Eva for the apparition. Mm -hmm. Stretched out like this. Fell out. <laughs> the best part is he said she saw her feet move. <laughs> <laughs> 23 years old. I didn't know about all this. Honestly, I didn't, you yeah, know. I wow. can't believe it. Mm -hmm. And we have 600 of those now statements, mm -hmm. medical documents in the parish. Mm -hmm. we, we, we can't call them miracles because we're not allowed to do that. But parish cannot decide on their own miracles. The Vatican has to make decisions on miracles, and we don't do that. Mm -hmm. We can say they're healings. Mm -hmm. That's what we're allowed to say. Mm -hmm. We don't try and overrun the Vatican with all that stuff. Mm -hmm. But one day we will. One day somebody will come. Mm -hmm. <laughs> one, two, three, four. Yeah, somebody will. But not in my lifetime. But... I'm deeply convinced listening to you, you know, yeah. it's like... What a story, yeah. what a story, you know. Uh, this summer, mm -hmm. we'll have the youth festival. Mm -hmm. Why? Why would we have a youth festival in August? Mm -hmm. For whatever reason. First, second, third, fourth, fifth of August. August, hottest time, August. <sighs> yeah, the Bosnian War. Nancy and I are in the war zone for three years delivering food. Mm -hmm. We didn't build this. Three years. We're sleeping in an army truck in the, in the war zone, delivering food, delivering food. War zone, do not enter. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. Nancy put